About 26 minutes after the top of the hour, and former Defense Secretary Robert Gates slamming Joe Biden's foreign policy record. And you said in your memoir, I think he's been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue over the past four decades. I stand by that statement. So should that be a red flag for voters? Our political panel on deck to debate it. Well, now we're going to talk about Joe Biden. Uh, he is headed to New Hampshire today for his first official campaign stops in the battleground state. But the 2020 frontrunner's foreign policy track record taking a hit from former Defense Secretary Robert Gates. Listen. And you said in your memoir, I think he's been wrong on nearly every major foreign policy and national security issue over the past four decades. I stand by that statement. I think that uh, the vice president had some issues with the military. So should Biden's foreign policy failures worry voters? Here to debate it is senior writer for the Heritage Foundation and visiting fellow for the Independent Women's Forum, Kelsey Bolar, and member of the Virginia House of Delegates, Mark Levine. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. Thanks Good morning. So as we begin, since we're going to be talking about what Biden has had to say, let's listen to some of what he said on China and Russia. China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. Governor Romney's answer I thought was incredibly revealing. He acts like he thinks the Cold War is still on. Russia is still our major adversary. I don't know where he's been. Mm, China, Russia, don't worry about it, Kelsey. Don't worry about it. Right. Those recent comments on China were quite bizarre, especially given the tough trade negotiations that are underway right now. But look, uh, but, uh, Joe Biden's policy, foreign policy track record should absolutely be front and center on his campaign. And you don't have to go back four decades to actually see how problematic it is. Um, everything that President Trump is being criticized for by Democrats really bubbles down to rhetoric. They don't like Trump's rhetoric when it comes to Russia. But the fact of the matter, as Gates points out, is the Trump administration has been far tougher on Russia than any other administration in the past, uh, including sanctions. And then if you look uh, what the Obama administration's policy was towards Russia, uh, where Joe Biden served as vice president, mm -hmm. uh, you know, Crimea was uh, taken over um, and and the Russia meddling actually began under the Obama administration. They were warned about, about that and did nothing. Uh, we have Ukraine, too. So that's just one example mm -hmm. where I think uh, his foreign policy track record is going to be center stage in the debate. You here. know, Mark, you're laughing, but a former assistant secretary of state for President George W. Bush was on Fox, um, Robert Charles, and he pointed out that, you know, in terms of Biden's uh, foreign policy failures, they range from opposition to military programs that brought down the Soviet Union to opposing the Osama bin Laden raid. So when I found out the topic today, I read the entire transcript of the Face the Nation interview with Robert Gates. And in it, he criticizes Donald Trump strongly on China, on Russia, on Iran, on North Korea, on Venezuela. But we're not talking about President no, Trump. We're talking about Biden. But when you're talking about Russia and what Gates says about Russia, he doesn't say anything about Biden with Russia. In fact, he says he agrees with Biden on Libya. He agrees with Biden on Egypt. What he says on Russia is that Donald Trump is trying to prevent Congress from sanctioning Russia because he knows Russia helped him in the election and he doesn't want to stop them from helping them again. That's the bombshell here that you didn't say from the interview. But our topic and it's is fascinating to read that. Okay, but our topic, let's go back to uh, Biden and his foreign yeah. policy and whether right. or not he'll be held accountable for any of his foreign policy blunders, which Gates did point out. He also talked about some of the, the military mistakes that he's made. What about well, what that? Gates, what Gates says is that in his memoir of 2015, he criticizes Biden on several things. And then the interviewer asks if he stands by that statement. It's interesting. You, you, watch, read the interview. He says, I, I don't know. I, I, I think I stand by that statement. And then he talks about he agreed with Biden on Libya. He agreed with Biden on Egypt. He disagreed with him with some mm -hmm. technical points on Afghanistan. Look, Gates is a Republican, but he's a Republican who says he doesn't know if he can support Donald Trump as the Republican nominee because he lays out all of Donald Trump's foreign policy mistakes. So I really think you need to read the entire Face the Nation interview to get a full context of what Gates believes. So, Kelsey, um, just uh, the final word on Biden, since that's what we are talking about in terms of his foreign policy. 
Again, I think that his foreign policy, he served as uh, chairman of the, the Foreign Policy Committee in the Senate. He ran uh, for president on his foreign policy platform, and, and now he's touting it once again, and he really needs mm -hmm. to ask, you know, name a success on the foreign policy platform, the, the, the world stage that you and the Obama administration actually had. Uh, Gates was criticizing him looking back for decades. Again, we don't need to look back for decades. Just look at the Obama administration compared to where we are now. What about dismissing China? I mean, do you think that any investigation is forthcoming in terms of Hunter Biden and how he has profited from China specifically? Kelsey? I, I think it absolutely should be investigated. If he's if he's running for president, uh, his records, uh, his profits in that matter should be investigated, especially when he makes these strange comments suggesting yeah. that uh, China's not competition right, right. now. And, and Mark, Don Mark, I'll give you this. I mean, he did say that at least Biden does have foreign policy experience, and he hasn't heard a lot, if anything, from any of the other uh, potential Democratic candidates who are running in terms of foreign policy at all. Uh, it, we're out of time. Sorry about that. He but, also said Biden had integrity, okay. which, which made a distinction. <laughs> All right. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, the time now is about 20 minutes.